Hi, my name is Dan with DroneBlog.com. Today, we will walk through transferring videos and photos to a Mac computer. We also have a video for PC users if you have a Windows PC. The Mini 3 uses micro SD cards up to 256 gig, whereas the Mini 3 Pro can write on cards up to 512 gig. In order to transfer files from the SD card to your Mac, you might have a built-in micro SD card slot on your Mac. If you have an SD card slot only, not a micro SD card slot, you'll need to purchase a micro SD to SD card adapter. Now, if your Mac is not equipped with an SD card slot, then you'll need to purchase a simple micro SD card reader to insert into an available USB port. Amazon has a variety of inexpensive readers that will do the job. Now, to transfer files to your Mac, you first want to eject the SD card from the Mini 3 Pro. Next, we'll insert the micro SD card into the corresponding SD card slot on the reader. Then, we'll insert the SD card reader into your Mac. Now, after the SD card reader connects to the Mac environment, you should see the SD card name appear on the desktop. Here, I name mine Mini 3 Pro so as to easily distinguish it from the dozens of other cards I insert and use on my Mac on a regular basis. Next, after you double click the SD card icon, a Mac Finder window will open, showing you the contents of the card. To access your Mini 3's pictures or videos, double click the DCIM folder. Under the 100 media directory, You'll find your DNG or RAW files, JPEG, and MP4 files. If you've created hyperlapses, the individual files will appear in the hyperlapse folder, broken into individual project folders. Now, to copy all the files into the directory of your choice on your Mac, you can right-click the 100 media directory and choose Copy. Alternatively, you can click and choose what files you'd like to copy and then move to the next step. Now for this last step, to paste the files or directory into your folder of choice, navigate through the Finder window, locate the directory you'd like to copy to, open the directory, and then right-click and paste the files into the said location. After this step is complete, you now have the files from your Mini 3. You're able to edit and modify the files to your liking in your favorite picture or video editor. Well, that's all for this video. If you find these types of video tutorials helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.